Hello everyone. Now we will see the concept of Rabin crypto system, which is based on the quadratic congruence. The Rabin crypto system can be same as that of RSA crypto system, what we have seen in the previous video. But here, the value of E and D are fixed. If you want to en perform encryption by using Rabin crypto system, then you are going to use uh, C is congruent to P square mod N. And for decryption purpose, you are using P congruent to C to the power 1 by 2 mod N. Here, remember that the public key is the value of N and private key is the value of P and Q. Now, let us see what is the algorithm or procedure for generating the key for encryption and decryption purpose. So, this is the key generation algorithm wherein we are going to choose two large prime numbers P and Q. Okay, and the value of P and Q should be in the form of 4K plus 3. That means when we are performing the modulo operation, our reminder should be 3. And remember that the value of P and Q should not be same. After that, we should perform the multiplication operation on P and Q so that we are obtaining the value of N. So that N is the public key and P and Q will act as the, sorry, Q, P and Q will act as the private key. Here it should be P and Q. I'm sorry. P and Q will act as the private key which is kept secret. Okay. So for encryption we are using the formula as I have told you P square mod N. And the decryption is going to give you four different values. Okay. And out of this four different plain text. Now it is work of the receiver to identify the actual plain text sent by the sender. Okay, so now let us understand this one. Before that, uh, we should remember that the Rabin crypto system is not deterministic. As just now I have told you, that means the decryption process is going to create four plain text out of which the receiver has to identify the actual plain text. To understand the concept of Rabin crypto system in much better way, let us take the example. So here I have taken the value of P as 23 and Q as 7. So Bob, Bob is the receiver or the person who is going to receive the data is going to select the value of P as 23 and Q as 7. Remember that both this value of P and Q are congruent to 3 mod 4. That means 23 mod 4 will give you the reminder 3 and 7 mod 4 will give you the reminder 3 such that they are in the form of 4k plus 3 and since the value of p is not equals to q then we can go ahead with the example so now the receiver called bob is going to calculate the value of n it is he is going to multiply the value of p and q that is 23 and 7 and obtain the value 161 which is the value of m now the bob is going to announce this value of n as the public key so that Whoever wanted to send the data can take this value of n to send the data to the Bob. Okay, that's why I have written here a Bob is going to announce n publicly and keeping the value of p and q secret. Okay, now imagine Ls is the person who want to send some data to Bob. The data is nothing but 24. Remember here that the value of n and p are relatively prime and the value 24 which is our plain text is in the group of z integer 161. Always remember whatever plain text is there it should be less than the value of n. Okay now the sender called ls is going to convert our plain text in the form of cipher text before sending. So he is using the formula p square. Now here I have written pt square. pt is nothing but the plain text. So, I can uh, distinguish between this P and the value of P what we have taken as 23. Okay. So, here I will write PT square. So, the plain text to square. Plain text is 24. 24 square mod 161 is the value of N. So, I am getting the reminder as 23. So, our plain text to 24 has been converted to cipher text as 93. So, now the Alice who is sender is going to send the cipher text 93 to the receiver called Bob. Now Bob is the receiver who is going to receive the cipher text 93 and he is going to decrypt this 93 to obtain the plain text. Okay, so he is going to calculate the four values by using the formula a1 equals to plus c to the power p plus 1 by 4 mod p. So 
C is 93. The value of P is 23. This P is what we have imagined. Okay, plus 1 by 4 mod 23. So, the remainder I am getting 1 mod 23. Similarly, calculate A2 which is minus C to the power P plus 1 by 4 mod P which is going to be minus 1 mod 23. Now, we, we cannot have the negative values in the modulo operation. So, I will perform 23 minus 1 that is 22 mod 23 in, uh, in order to make this negative value as positive. Then calculate A3 which is nothing but C to the power Q plus 1 by 4 mod Q. So, 93 to the power 7 plus 1 by 4 mod 7 is going to give you 4 mod 7. And lastly, minus C to the power Q plus 1 by 4 mod Q is going to give minus 4 mod 7. This minus should be written in a plus. So, I will write 7 minus 4 that is 3 mod 7. Okay. So, we have got the four possible answers in the form of A1, B1, A1, B2, A2, B1 and A2. B2. Okay. So, these are the four different set of uh, uh, plain text what I got. Now, these four different answers whatever we got, we can use the Chinese reminder theorem to obtain the possible answer. Okay. So, the possible answer will be our actual plain text sent by the sender. Thank you.